What's up, HVAC Uncensored Nation? I'm just sitting in here at the office waiting for Gil to shoot over the, the email so I can join the Zoom call and we can record tonight. But I wanted to talk to you about um, a couple weeks ago we had a couple issues with a floor furnace. So floor furnaces, wall furnaces, freestanding stoves. Um, <clears throat> here's basically what I've found on them. 99.99999% of the time, it is not the gas valve, it's not the thermal pile, it's not the limit switches, it is connections. Your connections have to be like, I mean, solid, solid, true connections. So if you've got to take off the, you know how thermal piles or pilot generators, whatever you want to call them, they have those fork terminals on them to go under the, the little screws on the gas valve. I, when I, I pull those off and sand them clean and then put them back under there, um, all of the limit switches, I'll pull the limit switches off, pull the wires off, sand, sand down with a piece of sand cloth, sand the terminals, pinch down with my needle nose the, the uh, female spade terminal, and then I'll push it back on. Make sure it's extremely solid and tight. And the same within your thermostat. At your, at your gas valve, all these different connections, if there's a couple of wire nuts, you know, where you tied your thermostat wire in, all those connections have to be just crystal, just pristine, pristine, clean, true, tight connections. That's the only way I know how to describe it. Your thermal pile has to have gas, you know, you've, you, when the pilot's lit, you, it's got to have enough gas on there to produce enough heat. To heat that th thermal pile up or the pilot generator heat it up enough to where it produces enough voltage because that voltage millivolts anytime you heat, heat two dissimilar metals it creates a small amount of voltage and there's two dissimilar metals in those thermal piles and so this voltage heats up You're, you press the gas valve down light the pilot it sits there and heats up as it's heating up it's creating voltage just like a thermocouple, only way more. It's like a, like a, like a thermocouple on steroids. Okay, it makes a lot more voltage. So when you let up on the gas valve, the voltage holds that plunger in in the gas valve to keep the pilot lit. And what I've found is that there is, there is anywhere from 500 to 700 millivolts. Um, with with no call for heating that's no call you know light the pilot turn the gas valve on but with no call for heating you, you know give it enough time to heat up because as it heats up your voltage rises because it's creating more and more voltage but 500 700 millivolts once there's a call for heating it uses that voltage to energize the gas valve so if there's any bad connections, once again, going through those limit switches and stuff, it's going to eat up the voltage. If the, if the thermostat is not making a solid connection, when it makes the switch, it will eat up the voltage. It's such a tiny amount of voltage that it doesn't take much. You take too much away and there's not enough to keep the gas valve energized. So a lot of times what happens on floor furnaces and wall furnaces is, you know, the gas valve will light up. But then 10 minutes goes by and it shuts off. And it's, it's not because of a limit switch tripping most of the time. Not that it can't happen, but most of the time that's not it. It's that you lost too much voltage through bad connections. So you got to make sure it's bad connections. Um, no less than like 250 millivolts at the gas valve with the thermostat energized. Like if you got less than that, there's probably not enough voltage there to keep that valve energized, and that's why it's dropping out. So, guys, make sure you do your connections. Like, go through those with a fine tooth comb. Like, you got to make sure that they're extremely clean, extremely tight. Be careful. Don't tighten the gas valve terminals too tight to where you strip them out, because then you just ruin the gas valve. But it has to be extremely snug, extremely clean, and nice and nice and tight so hope this helped if you get on the next floor furnace tell me about it shoot, shoot a comment below um i'm sure that uh you're gonna find that 99.99 percent of the time it's in the connections once in a great while um you know if your pilot is not big enough 
If the pilot's not big enough and it's not heating that up properly, then it won't create enough voltage. So that's always the first sign is to know that your thermal pile is working um, properly. Make sure that you got 500, 700 millivolts with just the pilot burning. Like light the pilot, let off, just let it heat up. Give it three, four minutes. Check your voltage in millivolts. You should have five to 700 millivolts. If you're not getting that, then it could just be that the flame is not burning on it hot enough. So you need to clean your, your pilot assembly. Or I've even taken the thermal pile out and I, I'll shine it up with a piece of sand cloth. But if you're gonna go through that trouble at that point, you might go ahead and replace it. Just up to you. But they're, they're relatively, you know, by the time you, you got to make some money off of it so by the time you charge the customer it can be a little expensive so um but that's okay too we're in business to make money guys so and there's nothing wrong with them getting a new thermal pile but if you got all of that stuff straight get into your connections guys i'll see you later and uh please subscribe to the podcast please subscribe to this channel hit the notification bell so you can get any new release videos from me and gil and we'll talk to you later guys go make money